the Ebola. Yeah, we the, the rebel war came here, but it was not too much dangerous like the, this virus because the rebel you can see them. Sometimes before they attack, you can add information from people, but the virus won't tell you I'm coming to this town. Yeah, even your your your, your own close friend, you're afraid of touching it because you can't tell. That's my mother. That's my mother. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey. Stop, Mibel. Let's know. Not one, not one, not one, not one. Well, the purpose of the hygienist is to clean everywhere and in the compound where the infected people are. Yeah. It's my boy. I'm living with him right now. If I have to fake water first, me to work. Here yeah, comes my sister. I went there to work. I was uh, very scared because I was thinking it's a virus, a deadly virus, and it catches everywhere. The lightest, the lightest mistake you made, you get infected by the virus. Yeah, I had test my family. Everyone is afraid of being me. I mean, my friends, some of them, it's uh, that man working the ETC. We have to space him a little bit. But I always tell them, I'm afraid of touching you because I use the preventive measures. But you don't have chlorine everywhere in the village. I'll wash my hand. I'll do everything, every step they told me to do in the ETC. So I'm afraid of touching you guys even. You can free you don't be afraid of touching me. I'm okay. I always tell them that. Yeah. Hello. And when you walk in the ETC, you see the life of people. You feel too sad. You feel bad. Feel like just get, like getting powers of your own to give people energy, strength to wake up from that sick bed. So, so bad, so hard to see. These are all kids here. I trim them up. Yeah. Here. Working in ETC now, working with people who got the virus. I feel proud because I feel very good because I'm saving the life of my people. Yeah, I feel proud of that.